Yeah, this little goat knows where she's going. She's like, it's milk and grain time. <laughs> oh, look at this girl. She wants her grain. She wants to get milk. <laughs> oh, I better take this. Takes a minute to get started once she's going. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you like the grain? Sitting there waiting patiently for the milk. Yeah, so I'm not pulling on the teats. I'm just squeezing off gently. <laughs> She's like, what the hell are you doing? Always towards the end. Yeah, and of course we got noise going, so she's gotta figure that out. I get a milk and stand built and then I won't have this problem. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? Is that the old man and the boy? Oh, that's a cat. Yeah, you don't don't need to hurt the cat. Eat the grain. Hey. Don't worry about the cat. You don't need to attack it. This is a vicious goat. <laughs> she got no horns because she's been dehorned. And what she do? She attacks every damn dog there is. Cat, it don't matter what it is. She bites, she kicks. She don't bite or kick me no more. Look at her, look at her, right on the attack. Right on the attack. <laughs> okay, it's quieted up. That's right, you back your butt up. So, I'm gently squeezing off the top, and then that's all it is. There's no pulling of the teeth. Well, 
that's what it is to milk a goat. And for grain, I'm using um, goat grain. But we're going to be switching over to uh, Texture 16, which is a uh, sweet feed. And technically, it's for both. It's for cattle, but it works good for a goat too. And they like it more because it's got molasses in it. And I got to build a milking stand. <laughs> so yeah, she gives um, about a half gallon a day. Just for those who are looking for a volume wise. Um, that with goats, you got to. And with cattle, you see how much they actually produce in pounds, so you got to weigh it. Um, goats, two cups can equal a pound, so you really got to weigh it out. And so what I do is for every, I give her a pound of grain just as a maintenance. And for every two pounds of milk she produces, I give her another pound of grain. And look how she's filling out nicely. Done milking your goat. Yeah, is you got to put teat dip on the teats, and all this is is just it's um, iodine. That's all it is. You can pick it up at the uh, at a feed store, and what that does is that helps keep any kind of bacteria from getting into the udder and causing mastitis infection and all that good jazz. <laughs> and I like to do, um, when I'm getting it for us, I will wash her udder with a iodine water solution. Warm water. Don't do the cold. <laughs> they don't like cold. 